In this random bits, I'm going to show you how you can easily replace the character in Unity's third person started assets pack with one of your own. So Unity has released a uh, set of new starter asset packs. Uh, they have one that is a first person controller and one that is a third person controller. Uh, what I have here is a, um, a brand new Unity project into which I have installed uh, the starter, the third person starter assets. Um, and what that gives you is a uh, preset up scene um, and a whole bunch of prefabs, including um, camera settings and this, uh, character controller and character model, fully all rigged up with animations and um, a whole bunch of prototypes to get going. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to replace this uh, character model with one of your own. So if I switch over to Blender, I have this very simple um, character model, little orange stick figure man. And I have him uh, rigged up with a bone structure. Now this bone structure is important. It's one that matches um, the humanoid rig in Unity. And if you import a model with this rig, you can just drop it into any um, humanoid or replace an existing humanoid rig uh, with this one. And the mechanism animation system will be able to animate your new model. Um, so really, uh, the setup for this, if we look at the armature here, is you have some hips uh, wired up to a um, spine um, and a chest and a neck and then some shoulders and then upper arms and some hands and then some leg bones and a foot bone and a head bone and a neck bone over there. And if you export a model like this or have a model rigged like this, you can pretty much just drop it straight into uh, Unity and replace an existing model. So I'm going to take this model here. I'm going to um, locate my assets folder. So over here, right click here and say show explorer. That'll open up a Windows Explorer window for me. I'm going to grab the path out of that. And then in Blender, I'll go to file, export as an FBX file. I'm going to drop it into that path. I'm going to call it stick figure.fbx. Um, I have nothing in the scene other than the armature and the model, so I can just export everything. And the important thing for Unity is that it is Y up. So I'll set that to Y up and export. In the assets folder, I now have a stick figure model. If you select this model now, uh, you've got a few things. So the first thing to do is to click on the rig and change its animation type from generic to humanoid. Um, and then it will say, uh, for the avatar definition, we'll say create from this model. First thing you need to do is click apply. And then once that has um, been applied, you can now click this configure button uh, to check your rig. And what you've seen here is that because I've named uh, my bones in my animation correctly, um, in my Blender file, in my Blender rig correctly, uh, Unity has automatically mapped all the bones. So hips to spine, the shoulder bones, forearm bones, the hand bones, all, all of those things are totally mapped in. And you can check that if you go to the muscles section, you can see that you can now swivel and rotate and check out your map in there. All right, so I'll just reset that and hit done. All right, so we have our, um, our little stick figure animation. It's all rigged up with the uh, Unity uh, humanoid animation type. Uh, so now we want to replace it um, into the scene and replace this existing uh, figure here. So if we look in the scene, we would have a uh, player armature and underneath geometry, it's got an armature mesh. Uh, what we want to do is uh, delete that armature mesh, but we need to unpack the prefab first. So if we right click on there on the player armature itself, click right at the top and go, um, prefab unpack completely. It's now editable. So we'll remove uh, the armature mesh. We'll take our stick figure and drop it into that geometry section. So it replaces the model. And then the last thing we need to do is we click on the player armature. Uh, we will see that we have the controller in place, but the avatar is the um, armature avatar. If we just click that, we want to 
select the stick figure avatar that was created when we uh, imported our model. So if we select that, uh, we should be good. So now if we press the play button, we now have our figure. You can walk around, uh, run, and jump. So it's that simple. So pretty much any uh, model that is a mechanism compatible model or has a rig that can be mapped uh, as a humanoid unity uh, character, a humanoid model, um, can be just dropped in and replaced and you get all these nice smooth animations and everything already uh, set up for you. So a great way to get going um, by using the starter asset and uh, start replacing your own uh, models and assets into the scene. So changing up some of the materials now and with my custom character I now have the uh, start of a stick figure third person platform game. So thank you for watching. Um, as always hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, remember to subscribe to uh, get notified when I release new videos and thank you for watching.